right? So uh, we have completed empathize. That is, uh, we are seeing all the design thinking stages one by one, starting with empathize, followed by defining the problem, and then ideation prototype. Okay? So prototype needs to be tested before you can proceed with implementation. Always. Okay? So prototype is the early model of our ideation. When you are, uh, you know, finding a solution for any problem, we will only make a prototype. We will not go with the final product. That is the finished product only can be launched, can be ready for the uh, selling to the market. Okay. But we don't go to that level. Before to that, we will be making a prototype. So prototype is a model of our solution, model of our ideation. Representation of our ideation. Either way, you can define about the prototype. There are various methods to uh, do a prototype for your product. Various methods are there depending upon the requirement or depending upon the product. You choose a particular uh, prototype model. Prototype and it can be a sketching or 3D printer or maybe some physical model. You can use a uh, you know digital media to represent your product. You can uh, go with some animation simulator or just with a simple material you can make a model of your product. Either way you will be doing a prototype. The prototype needs to be tested. Okay. So it needs to be tested by some testers. The testers could be experts, the people who made the prototype or the people who are going to use it. So you collect various people, you make them as a group or take the you can have so many methods to test your product or the prototype. That is what we are going to see in the, uh, you know, uh, class. So this class and the next class. Okay, fine. So test is a next phase of design thinking. Test phase. This is very, very important because though you do ideation, though you make a prototype, unless and otherwise it is tested, you will not be able to improve your prototype. Suppose it requires something. If you are not doing a testing, just like that you make a prototype and you implement it and send it to the market if there is any flaw and it is not going to give a comfort to the people or it is not convenient to the people or it is not attracting the people. People are not desire to purchase your product and it is of no use. Correct? So you have some idea and making this, it is going to be useful to the people. This is your opinion or your team opinion. Where is on the other end? The going to use it or the people who are going to market it, the people who are going to invest money on it. If your prototype or the product is not going to satisfy them, obviously you cannot expect better profit and that is the reason we always do test. Okay? Test. Collect the feedback from the testers, people who are testing your product. Based on that, you may do some improvisation on your product if required. If not, in the first attempt itself, it is very well means we will not be uh, doing any improvisation. We don't have to break that process. We will just proceed with implementation. Clear this? If the prototype is very good in the first iteration itself, it's fine. How you are uh, testing, you get some feedback, you are fine tuning your prototype and then you are testing. Then now it goes well, you will go with the implementation. Get my point? So testing is required for the better. Product testing is required for the better, uh, you know, um, output of your product. However, it is going to satisfy the user's need. You are going to check in the testing phase, right? So, in testing phase, also we will be doing exactly like empathy. So, in empathy phase, what do we do? We will be collecting a lot of information about the problem faced by the if there is no solution for it. But sometimes there may be existing system, existing product, with that they may be facing some problem. So here we will be collecting their experience, right? So based on their experience, based on their viewpoints, we will be making some modification on the existing product. Again, that will be tested with the user. Now it is satisfied. It is satisfying them. Then you get your sales. Similarly here, test to face, you make something, test with the people. Test with the paper. What was the feedback they are uh, giving you? What was the opinion they are expressing? Based on that, we are going to make so. What was the method we are going to see now in the testing phase? It is all applicable even for the empathy phase. Okay. It is all about how you collect the data from the people about your product. Get my point? So test phase is used to test your prototype from the users from various testers. The testers could be, uh, you know, called individually or uh, maybe a group of people can be called for testing or in a 
way. Okay, you can just spread it across the online uh, mode like WhatsApp like forward money. You can ask people to apply or fill up that form through which you can collect their opinion. Many ways are there. Okay, so you just give a link of your uh, website. Okay, ask them to check the website and ask them to give the feedback. You don't have uh, experience in writing NPT or examination. Once you go and write the NPT examination, at the end of the examination, they will take a survey of seven questions. Okay, they will ask you how is the examination center, how is the administrator, now how about the <coughs> systems and all, and how uh, the interaction between the uh, people who are in the next face any problem, whether they are helping you or not, and uh, how about the questions. All those things will be there in the questions. That is the questionnaire through which they are collecting the feedback. Okay. So now they have introduced a lot of examination center and this survey will be definitely helpful to them. Suppose if I give some comment like uh, systems are getting off frequently and people are not supporting well, just we entered and the answers have to do everything. Like right? if you are not able to locate your system also, uh, nobody was there to guide you. Like just if I had given a comment over there, definitely they will take that into consideration and do the needful. You get my point? So the feedback or the points given by the user will be helpful for them to improvise them. Many a times when you see some product or when you go to some supermarket or when you uh, have new models open, you are going over there or if some particular showroom is open, you are going over there, definitely there will be a survey form. They will be giving you and uh, they will ask you to fill up few details. Then you will be sharing your experience about the shopping. Okay, or even if you are doing some online shopping or through online portal you are writing some examination or you are searching something also, there will be a survey form. Okay, you are feeling you will be sharing your experience that will be helpful for them to improvise themselves. Clear? So, the reason why testing is required. Fine. So, now we are going to see the various phases uh, of testing. So, normally in testing, what are all the things we will be doing in the testing process? Uh, the user compare with alternatives. User compare alternatives. When the testing is taken place only, they will be able to give a feedback. Similar thing I am having over there. When you are searching, when you are doing online shopping in Flipkart, they will make a comparison with Amazon. Okay, so if it is uh, some other kind of shopping, like you are doing a shopping in Misho, definitely you will make a comparison with Ajio. The quality of the materials, quality of the product is good or uh, okay. Okay, sometimes we will be making a comparison with the cost and the time to deliver the product. All those comparisons we will be making, we will test it up, we will be able to give our, uh, you know, comments. Right, the review on our you will see the product and then you will post your comment, the item is not so good, the item is so good, it is, uh, you know, very well beyond my expectation. Like so many news you will be able to give about that particular website or about that particular online shopping experience or that. So people will be able to make a comparison with the other product. User experience the prototype. So if this points we have already discussed, just a recap I am giving you. User experience the prototype. So this is how my product is going to look like. That kind of idea you will be getting when you are using a prototype. Okay. So before you could get, you could make it as a final product. When it is as a prototype itself, if you are testing how to operate that, how to interact with your prototype, you will get experience. Observe the user. So I am the one who has made the prototype, and you are the users. When you are using it, I will be able to observe your experience, the, like the way how you enjoy using the particular product, whether it makes you happy or it makes you uncomfort or you don't like it, like everything, we will be able to make it by seeing you utilizing that prototype. Let the user talk about their experience. Once they come as I mentioned, we can take this exam itself as a simple example. Uh, once you complete the exam, you come out of it, there will be a people with a camera, they will be asking you to share your experience. Okay, so they openly you are sharing your experience, like you are excited or you felt this kind of inconvenience or they took long time to log in for you, like those experience you will be sharing. Similarly, any product is given to you, it is uh, very good to operate or it is not so good to operate. Those experience users will be sharing, making the learning out of failure. So this is for the people who made the product. So I tested with so many people. Everybody gave me feedback. Everybody gave me it. Everybody says 
open it. This is not at all good. This is not at all good. Obviously, that is the failure of my prototype. So I have to learn that what are all the problems uh, people suggested on that particular prototype. From that, I will be improving myself. My approach will be changed. My idea may be changed towards that solution. So I change everything. I will rebreak the system and then I will go back to the positive thing. Okay? Fine. So testing types. You see testing types. There are various uh, testing types. This is uh, very important. Types of testing. Testing and 
our or you are doing something for the rural area. So in the rural area, if you just talk about everybody must have the Android phone or something like this that may not be available with them. Okay. Or every day you are asking them to take some print out or you are asking them to do something, design something in the system which may not be possible. So you, you are doing something and uh, who is the user you know very well. Accordingly you have to do the testing. You are going to do the prototype to the I mean product to the rural area people but you are testing to the city range people, urban people. Okay. So obviously they will not be able to give a proper feedback or opinion. So we have the six scenarios must be there. Test with the right people. Both the points are interconnected. Test with the right people. You are making something for the school students but you are testing with the uh, faculty members. They may be knowing, uh, you know, better than the school students. Then, uh, you know, whatever the opinion these people are giving or it is about the computer system. The usage of computer system is very well known by the people who are in the college or who are in teaching field compared to the school kids. So, if I call out these people at test, if they give me a very good feedback, it is very, very good. When I give that same to the school kids, they may find difficulty. So, I should call right people to test to the Prototype. Next is observe behavior. When the test is undergoing, I have to observe the behavior. Iterate based on the feedback. Be open to feedback. Okay. So these are all the tips we need to remember when we are uh, doing a testing. Okay. So some more points about the testing. This also you can answer that tips are the points to be uh, remembered when you are doing the testing. Define again, this point is common. Define testing goals and objectives. Define testing goals and objectives. Choose testing method. Testing method. When I say testing method, there are many ways to test our prototype like survey, interview, uh, conducting a workshop, like so many ways are there to protect the testing. Okay, so interview means you can call in person and then take them to test your prototype. So that again may happen even as a group or uh, it may uh, happen through a video conferencing or uh, the survey form or the interview form could be uh, forwarded to uh, various mode of thing like through WhatsApp or uh, uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram. Through that also you can get the survey or the feedback about the particular thing. See some answer of the selection itself. Okay. So about this selection, you want to uh, gather some information now. So various ways, ways are there to gather information. You make a questionnaire and then uh, send it across the WhatsApp group and you request the people forward this to as many as groups. Obviously, it will be forwarded. You will be use a Google form where you get lot of data. That is one way of collecting the information about something or collecting data about something like you just imagine the ballot paper and then uh, computer based code which is best. This is what the feedback you want to know from the paper. To do that, you can just make a questionnaire plus and minus you can explain in the description and then you can give a set of questions which can be given to all the people through which you can collect the information. Similarly, survey. Or there are so many ways to uh, conduct the testing. Okay. So next comes to develop test material. Develop test material. This is about I need to How I am going to conduct the interview? So who are going to be a participant of the interview? Who will be there in the interview? Uh, interview panel, interviewer. Okay. So how the interview should be taken place? What time it has to be taken place? How it needs to be taken place? All those things have to be prepared. People are test material. So this material is something like what are all the points you want to gather from the testers? Gather from the testers and to perform testing, what are all the requirements?
element. Those things need to be planned and developed this material. Then recruit participants. This is the box. Who are all going to test? So this participants could be of, as I mentioned, the experts. For a team of people who are doing same similar uh, product in some other company, even then those people also can be called. Okay. Or uh, imagine you are uh, doing a project which is based on drones. You understand that your seniors also did the project based on the drone. Drone domain only you can call them also to test your prototype. Okay. Or the teachers who are very expert in their field, they also can be called. Or the people who are doing a research in that particular domain, those people can be called. And the people who are going to sell that product, they also can be called. Then people who are going to use the product. Okay? So this uh, who needs to be called for uh, testing your prototype. Then conduct the testing. Everything are ready in the pre previous point. So now you are going to conduct testing. You are scheduled for testing. You are uh, conducting the testing. After testing, what we are supposed to do? I collect a lot of information, a lot of feedback, opinions from the people. What I should do next? Yes, I have. 
bad because because of that house atmosphere once they go out and then speak with the uh, various people only they will learn to speak properly okay but they will understand they will not be able to reply properly some people will not even be able to understand because you know very well uh, seriously our manipulation school and all you have to speak only in english in respect of their mother tongue okay so when they are speaking the baby must be able to understand and they should be able to respond and they are able to understand or even they are able to respond all those things they would like to no some colors they should be able to identify and some uh, words at least they should be able to follow this is the uh, knowledge or the information expected by the pre kg period for a few soul period but when the uh, boy or girl completed engineering okay after 21 years when you go and attend the interview that interview you should know the knowledge of your engineering what is the engineering knowledge you have gained okay if you belong to ccr i they will be testing you your aptitude skill and then programming skill programming skill when you are given a problem how you are able to write a code for that if you say it is in c++ or java using a java you are able to code if a child you know to write a code how long you are taking to write a code to that the timing and how lengthy the code you are writing optimized way whether you are able to write it or not and if you are given a constraint that you can this space you have to complete the coding so there you have to see the space complexity and if you are asked to say that you have written a program but it takes some uh, nanoseconds they say that it needs to be reduced which means the code must be faster time complexity all this knowledge you have to gain in your engineering so interview is taken place to know something about particular about you or about the product or about something what is happening around so you went for a movie okay you come back and your uh, house people or friends will be asking you how is the movie okay how uh, whether it is essential in not in a single line when you are asked you will be telling it like a essay only or they themselves will be throwing you lot of questions for all they who is the actress who is the uh, comedy any uh, cameo role is there who is the producer who is the singer who is the lyricist who is the director producer many things they may ask you okay so this is for to know information about a particular thing if i want to know about you the question will vary if i want to know about the product the question will vary if i want uh, to know about your experience of my class or our college or about the festival the question set may vary okay so interview or survey to know about something so by knowing i will be able to know how my prototype is so your interview and survey will be similar once you know the basic steps of testing same thing with the slide variation we will be seeing a interview and i think now you have got uh, some idea about interview interview is connected to know something about a particular thing maybe about the person about the college about the school or about the movie about the uh, product or about the system it may be of anything okay right so how the interview will be conducted again it's for interview same is repeated define your objective from the interview what are the things i would like to know if you are facing a technical interview where your technical knowledge is tested next you will go to hr interview where your personal information are collected suppose you are they will be asking if you are a single child or you are having a siblings and the single child especially girl na next question they will ask you suppose uh, if your job location is in bangalore or it is a pan india uh, company like anywhere you will be shifted will you be able to accept this offer okay and your shift will be like this now you ready to uh, you know accept this offer like personal based questions so you need to set a goal or objective of your interview whether it is to know the technical knowledge or it is to know your personal information or it is to know about something else based on that we will be setting a goals of your interview next create a script the script is nothing but what are all the questions i am going to ask you okay so we will have a set of questions sometimes it will be a, you know on, on spot questions sometimes it will be some ready made questions like now onwards you can just see when i go on the, especially for your lab exams about 
you check with your friend whatever the questions ask us by or for your friend same only will be asked because they will ask some set up in questions okay same only they will be asking you for everybody because they will consider they are only first year these questions are enough similarly if it is about a product they will ask a set of questions only whether are you able to use it or you are uh, delighted to use it or you have any suggestion to uh, improve this uh, what it is about the cost or about uh, the functionality about all those things so what are all the questions you are going to use and how you are going to conduct the interview and at the end what you are going to so all those things needs to be prepared as a script anything to execute we need to prepare a script if it is a completing or if it is a any program we need to prepare a script similarly for interview we need to prepare a script choose the right participants of course for whom i am taking up say i am going to ask the you know take up interview about the election if i am taking this interview in the schooling will i get the proper output or where are the right participants because eligibility for voting is only 18 and above then i cannot ask such questions to the 10th grade student or the 5th grade student i should pick up only the right participants based on the product or the prototype i have to call a right participants for the interview build a rapport with the uh, interviewer and the person who is attending the interview who has come for testing otherwise i am so rigid and so strict so you will not be able to answer me sometimes we can see that uh, if we are giving some error look on the other end even if we are having the right answer also you will not be able to express it so there must be a friendly environment friendly atmosphere uh, should be given only that people will open to share their points or feedback next uh, active listening many times we observe this people will ask you question you will be answering answering but they are not even listening they will be watching somewhere else okay so obviously you will not be able to express your right answer many times it happens people go in say some conference and all to uh, go the side of for me say they will raise a throw a question and that side of will be like you know we are put the answer when it go then you will not listen you will be talking with this uh, neighbor person okay so when you are conducting your interview to know about the prototype you have to listen actively active listening is very important record the interview and finally thank the participants why uh, the interview needs to be recorded for the analysis right for the analysis whatever the interview i am taking up i must remember all the points for that it needs to be recorded nowadays any online interview and all is taken by they will record okay they are uh, on a particular day they are conducting interview for some hundred people all the hundred points they cannot remember if it is a paper free interview they need to record it if it is a paper interview they need to write some points or score over it okay but either way it needs to be recorded and finally we must thank the people only that they come again for any other interview imagine it is a sony they are offering something and asking you to fill up the google form or something like that and finally uh, they are giving you some a gift or something like that you will be really impressed next time when you meet such a request definitely you will accept that is a thank you it is not just by words it may be with some incentives too these are all the tips to an interview similar form of uh, thing testing even in survey survey and your word survey
applicable for any type of testing. Next, keep the survey short and simple. Short and simple. You take survey form. There are some hundred questions, and you are uh, you are rushing to go for a movie. It is in the cinema theater only. They have launched something newly, and they are uh, keeping a survey form. You wanted to fill, but when you see number of questions are hundred, and everything they are asking you to write is very basic. Minimum three lines. Minimum obviously you will not fill up and move on. Always the survey question must be short and simple. And sometimes you are not able to understand the question at all. That also will not help you to answer. So the tips to remember: clear the hole properly. Next, set the question short and simple. Avoid the leading question. You give one question, but it is not clear about it. So that raises another question. Just you are asked to fill up. Fill your mark. Each mark you will enter. You will enter your C A T mark, or you will enter your C D A T mark, or you will enter your S T mark, or N T mark. Nothing. Correct. So you will get another question. What I should write? So question should not be raising another question. When you are setting a question, that should not lead to another question. Use different question type. In a question, there are some twenty questions. All the twenty should not be a M C Q multiple choice. Some four question can be multiple choice. Some three questions could be a dash type of thing. Some three question could be a matching. Some three question could be uh, like open ended question. You need to answer on your own like that. It should it should be a mix of various types of questions. Then test the survey. That's what like by with all these things you will be doing a test. Entering honest answers. As soon as it completed, you just price that. If the answer is honest, even if it is negative, also if it is an honest answer, because sometimes we even feel like you know this is the flaw we find. Let me see how other people are saying. If they are also saying, we believe that the answer is honest. Okay, then you encourage them. You are right. You raised your, uh, you know, you gave me a right feedback. That right? you can encourage them so that they be honest always. Okay, they will have courage to uh, give a right answer. Then consider incentives. This is what I mentioned. Once you fill up the survey form, uh, within this time, if you are filling up the survey form, you will be given a, you will be given a gift, or you will be uh, given this kind of voucher, or uh, some tender piece will be credited to your uh, Google uh, Pay, something like that. Now we are doing right when we are doing a Google Pay and all. For some and the rewards will be there. You will get some offer and all will be there. That is to encourage doing a Google Pay. Okay, incentives. When you do, when you fill up the survey form, you are given such incentives. Next, use the mix of distribution methods. How do I distribute my survey form? Can be uh, just orally I can do, or I can stand in some, uh, you know, in front of the mall. I can I can distribute some. I we are saying some marketing people, right? They will be just distributing it, or through WhatsApp group, or Facebook, or some other mode. You may, you may, you can use to forward the survey for various ways of distribution method. Then finally, analyze the results. 